Alright, this is Landon. We're just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to achieve a film look with a digital file using uh, two software programs. We're going to be using DaVinci Resolve 12.5 as well as uh, Magic Bullet Looks and also Magic Bullet Film. Uh, Magic Bullet Looks and Film both come in the Magic Bullet Suite. You can also get those plugins separately. Um, DaVinci Resolve is a free software program. They have a free and a paid version. This method will work in either version. So to start with, we have our original footage right here, our GH4 Cinema 4K original. We'll open that up and take a look at it. I shot this in the park one day. Uh, it's pretty flat. No real color going on. What we're going to do, the um, file structure for DaVinci Resolve is rather archaic, so in order to help things out, we're going to put the original in a folder named GH4, knowing that it's on our C drive desktop, and then we will open Resolve 12.5 and wait a while for it to load. Now what we're going to do, we're going to create a new project, we will call it Make It Look Like Film, and we'll create that. Double click on the one we created, and this opens DaVinci Resolve. We'll then go over here to the C drive, users, myself, desktop, and find the GH4 folder and open that, and there's our file. Click and drag into our media pool. Go over to the edit screen. Go up to, f and we can keep this as a 185 to 1, but uh, CinemaScope looks more cinematic. So we'll just, this is also gives you an idea of how you can change a 185 to 1 to a uh, 239 to 1 CinemaScope automatically without having to add black bars and things like that. Let's go up to File, Project Settings. Right over here, change the timeline resolution to 2048 by 858, 24 frames, and save. Now what we got to do is drag this in, and let it load a minute. There we go. Now you can see the problem is we still have black bars on the side because this is 185 to 1 footage. So what we need to do is click on the clip, it'll bring up the uh, inspector if it doesn't there's a button over here at the top scroll all the way down to where it says uh, retime and scaling scaling change it to fill and boom it takes that center portion of the 185 to 1 and expands it into the 239 to 1 um, that takes care of that so we now have this and for the sake of rendering time I'm going to cut this file down Let's make a couple of cuts so that we're not here all night rendering. Get rid of the front part and the last part. There we go. That just cut that file down a little bit. Go over to color. And DaVinci is a node-based color compositor or color corrector. Sorry. Uh, what you want to do now, we're going to be working with two individual nodes. We got one already up to create another. Right click. Select add node and corrector. Just drag it down there somewhere. Uh, left click on this little line. Right click and delete link because we have to link these up. The important thing to remember about node based is everything has to connect from an input to the output. So we'll drag a line from this over to that node and drag a line from this down to the output node. We now have two nodes to work with. On the second node, make sure it's highlighted in red. We're going to go down and find uh, Magic Bullet Film. Drag that onto that node. And we're going to make some adjustments to that. So whatever we want it to look like. This will give a lot of your film look. It's going to add grain, saturations that match 
Uh, we'll just up that grain just to show you what it's capable of doing. Um, say you're right there. So, you know, it changes your contrast tint exposure to match film grain. That's a major thing. Um, we're also going to click double click on our first node. It'll actually help if we right click on the second node and uh, change the label to film. That way we can keep track of what effects on what node. Double click on this node, change label, change this to looks. And we're going to add a magic bullet looks to that, so drag that on. Open the edit looks panel. And you can then sort through uh, the different looks that you want. Right now this looks like a flat film stock. Um, but almost all professional films go through a color grading to add at least a little bit of color to them. So you can sort of just scroll through these settings, uh, find which ones you like. Alternatively, you can uh, use the color correction wheels to do some of these looks, but oftentimes you can find some that you like here and cut out a lot of that time. Let's just keep with something simple looking. Let's go with that. I like that. And save it. And there we go. We now have our clips together. Um, all we need to do now is go out to Deliver tab. And in the Deliver tab, um, right up here in the location, click Browse. Choose whatever you want to save it to. Um, I'm going to save it to the same place my original file was at on the desktop. GH4. Click on the file there. Enter a custom name. Let's just name it Output. And I'm going to click on the audio tab and disable the audio because that'll take a while. And back on the video tab, we're going to change the format. Um, you can make it any of these you want. I'm going to make it QuickTime and change the codec to H.264. Making sure your scope ratios and frame rates are the same. Click Add to Render Queue. It'll appear over here. Click Start Render. And we'll just wait for that to complete. And that's done, and that's basically all we needed to do. Let's go up here to Resolve, Quit Resolve, we will save the project. And it should be in our GH4 folder here. There we go, our output file. Click on that. And there we go. Now of course that's a very stylized look. But it does give me an idea of how color grading in uh, with the film look thing can really make your digital footage look like film.